Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm still working with the rectangle drawing that we just finished in Lesson 5. This is going to be Lesson 6. And what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to dimension the rectangle. Alright, so let's get started here. Okay, so in Lesson 5 we had drawn a rectangle that was 5 inches tall by 8 inches long. And um, I'd like to put some dimensions on that to show that it's 5 inches tall by 8 inches long. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do at first is um, I'm going to come over here to uh, linear dimension on this toolbar. Um, if you don't have this toolbar, you can also notice it's up here on the ribbon. Um, linear dimension happens to be at the top. Uh, if it's not at the top, if you click on this black arrow, you'll notice there's other dimension commands that you can pick from. But we're going to start with linear. Okay, now most of the time um, when you draw a dimension, it needs three picks. Uh, it needs a pick for where the first extension line is going to go. So I'm going to try to eye that right about there. And it needs a pick for where the second extension line is going to go, which is right about there. And it needs a pick for where you want to place the dimension. Okay, um, now you can see we have a problem here. Um, I believe that I accurately drew that to be uh, eight inch line, but the computer, its dimension is telling me that it's 7.9897. So let's zoom in and see if we can see what the problem is. Okay, and you can kind of see here if I grip the dimension um, that it's not really, uh, the extension line is not really starting at the corner of the object. And I probably have the same problem over here. Um, which I do. The extension line is not really on the corner of the object. Um, now those can be moved with grips, but for this beginning lesson, um, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, accurately right from the start. So while this is gripped, let's erase this bad dimension by picking erase. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to use um, another tool on the status bar called O snaps and O snaps are going to help us to uh, grab geometry accurately. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off by right clicking on the word O snap and I want you to pick settings just because it's easier to look inside this dialog box to see what our settings are. And our object snap settings are set to endpoint, which is endpoints of lines, midpoints of lines intersections of lines or circles, and perpendicular points. Okay, So those are kind of the, I like to call them magnets, that are preset in object snap. So we'll just leave those the way they are. Let's just pick OK. And I'm going to come down to the status bar and make sure that that's actually turned on. OK, so now that's on. And ortho is also on. We can take that off. Okay, so now we have just the O snaps on. And let's go back to um, linear dimension, which we can either pick here or pick here. I'll do it up here. All right, and it's asking us for the first extension line. Now, when I hover my mouse over an endpoint on a line, you can see there's the snap, that little square is the snap and then I get a tooltip that tells me I'm on the endpoint. So if I pick it will snap to that endpoint as the pick. That'll be the picked point is where that bright little magenta square is. So I'm gonna pick even though my cursor is out here. Do you see that? It grabbed that endpoint. Let's bring my second pick over here and there it grabbed that endpoint and my third pick I'm away from geometry here so I can just pick by eye where I want to place it and it has an accurate dimension you can tell now if I grip that dimension line 
its start point is the end point of the line, which is what we want. So we have a nice, accurate 8-inch dimension. Now I'm going to hit Escape because I want it to be ungripped. So I'm going to hit the Escape key, and let's do it again. So let's go to Dimension Linear, pick, pick, pick. Right? There we have a dimensions on the rectangle uh, accurately that it's a 5 by 8 inch rectangle. I hope that helps and until the next tutorial give that a try and practice with your linear dimensions.